So my recent video about the new Glorious GMMK3 really got some interesting feedback. Some good, some bad, and some hateful. But today we're going to do a follow-up video, pop and open a GMMK3 Hall Effect 65%. This is the one you get straight out of the box, not custom like mine. And I haven't even opened this yet, so we're going to get the raw feedback together. But I first want to cover some of the feedback I got in this video. And the first thing, which I probably shouldn't be addressing, and I addressed it a little bit in the comments, but I got to get this off my chest one more time here is some of the people said this was a paid review because i love this so much i said it was the best keyboard ever the best one i've ever owned used or whatever because i built this keyboard to my specifications silent switches the colorway all the internals it is the best keyboard i've ever used but no this isn't your keyboard maybe you want to build yours out a little bit different with different switches and stuff but more importantly the people that are saying it's paid let me set this straight here and i say this since day one on this channel i will never accept a penny for a review ever i promise i guarantee and if i ever do i guarantee i will close this channel down because it goes against everything i stand behind and why i started this channel so any of you out there constantly saying that like get lost you're probably already not subscribed you're just probably behind that keyboard and that screen trying to build yourself up with a little comment typing behind your keyboard so we don't need you here we don't need your negativity and your hate and see you later moving on from them people about the other two comments we got very frequently was it's expensive and the sound and as far as cost yes i agree with you i stated in the video it is expensive this board with the cable is upwards around 480 bucks got the limited edition keycaps limited that they got the silent switches the metal case it's an expensive board this is my custom keycap that keeps falling off here but anyways yes it is expensive but going back to what we're talking about today doesn't have to be. This starts around, I believe, 170 or 180. It's significantly more cheaper. And then eventually you can take this board and build it out to this if you want. The other thing is the sound test of this board. I thought it sounded good. I still think it sounds good, minus that space bar, which is a little bit clanky. But I love silent switches. And people in the comments were saying it sounds bad. Some other people in the comments were saying silent switches always sound bad. I don't know. Again, I'm not a keyboardist. This is just what I love is a silent switch because my son's room's over there. My family's doing something. I don't want to interrupt them with a clanky, loud keyboard. And the other thing I think people started doing with the sound to test is compiling other videos and then replying them onto one. Like, oh, the switches are wobbly. Because I know Frank's video, he had the polycarb plate or something and his switches were moving around a little bit. They were a little loose. I am using the aluminum plate here and my switches are in there perfectly fine because these switches don't have pins on the bottom so you think they'd be super loose in every single type of plate but on mine they are stable as can be but today we'll also be able to see is it just those silent switches that's making it sound maybe a little scratchy to you guys again to me it sounds perfectly fine but today we're going to be taking a look at the glorious fox hall effect switches so my point to this video is not so much to sit here and just back up the product as again i told you i stand by everything i said in the video i absolutely love this keyboard but maybe just clarifying things a little bit, because everyone said the GMMK Pro, oh, it's so expensive, it's 500 bucks. It is not 500 bucks again. You can get this Hall Effect one that has all the features of this board, starting at, again, 170 or 180. You can go lower down to 80 bucks, I believe, but you're not getting a Hall Effect. It's gonna be bare bone, no switches, keycaps. Anyways, it's up to you how much you want to spend. That's what I want to put out there. But as far as quality, let's go on and pop this open. Now, before we go ahead and open this up, I just want to show you the box so you can see what all, again, we call this the base model Hall Effect GMK3. You can see the specs it's packing, rapid trigger, 8,000 polar rate, wired, because this is the wired version. Mine is the wireless one dual hot swap so you do get the five pin and the hall effect swappable which is again a feature i don't think any other board at least any that i have tested features that that is again you can't compare that to the wooding or anything else i don't think any other board does that. that's super cool coming over here to the back side you can see the build quality with the dampening foam and stuff a few other specs right there as far as our switches but most importantly i want to go and pop this open live with you guys as you see it is still sealed and we can get that raw feedback together here, seeing what it is, again, comparing it up to my previous one. So there is the board. Down here is all of our paperwork. Let me dig that out. Talks about the switches, so you know which ones they are or how to hot swap them. Basic user's guide and some stickers, whatever. We'll leave all that down under there. As far as any other box here, get a keycap. Okay, for Apple. So if you're using Mac, they give you the extra keycap there. Some sample switches. 
right over here. Oh, they even give you one of the silent ones. So if you wanted to see if it's as bad as some of them are saying, then you get your keycap and switch puller. Over here should be our cable. Let's see. Pop this open. Whoops. I didn't mean to open that the wrong way. Oh, cool. So you actually get in the base one, you actually get some different uh, of those or some swappable, whatchamacallum, gasket, since it's gasket mounted. Over here, some extra screws and there's extra O-rings because they got those O-rings on the side of the board as well. They actually give you the screwdriver. And down here should be our regular cable. Yeah, USB-C to USB-A. Let's go on and get all of that out of the way since we know what's in there. Let's go on and pop open this board and see what it's packing. Okay, so we got the yellow glorious on the bottom. We'll peel that off there. GMMK3. You have one level of pop out feet and then multiple rubber feet. Now here, I wonder if these, yeah, so these pop out as well. So you can see we got eight screws on the bottom of this. When you look on the bottom of the Pro, you only have four on it. So this one has eight holding it together. On the back side, you still got your Windows and Mac and then your Bluetooth. No, what is this right here? What is that button for? Hold on a second, because this isn't wireless. All right, so I'm gonna have to do some researching because I have no idea what the heck this switch is because again, it's not the wireless version, it's just wired, but this is for your Windows and Mac and then your USB-C port. Coming over here to the front, as you see, you have your knob, you have your little badge, which again, all this is customizable. Now, the difference on this is this badge is plastic, this knob is plastic, everything is plastic, and I will tell you, compared to my other one, it does feel a little bit cheaper. But again, it's also cheaper in cost. More importantly, how about these switches? And I wanna pop one of these off to just take a look at these Fox. As you see, we have the Fox. Ooh, they feel pretty nice, actually. Let me go on and put my mouse up here. I'll take my microphone and let's get this sound test. So again, as far as the sound test, I hope I don't get beat up in the comments, but I think this board sounds amazing. I think mine sounds great. I, I'll be honest with you here. I think I like these Fox switches better than my silent switches. As much as I love silent switches, it's just that mushy feeling at the bottom is kind of meh, you know? But these, they're not super loud. It's almost like that perfect medium in between ground. And these are the switches included. But again, like I stated before, the coolest thing about this board, I think, is that multiple hot swap where you can hot swap Hall Effect switches or five pin. Again, I don't know any other keyboard that's doing that. Now, as far as that switch on the back of the board that I had no idea what it was, I couldn't find anything in the manual or anything, but when I came in here and started messing around in the software, it actually swaps the profiles. As you see right now, I just flicked the switch. I'll hit it again. Bam, it'll come up to two. One more time, it'll go up to profile one. So it's a profile switcher button back there. Really cool, so you can save whatever actuations and stuff you want and just flick it from typing or gaming or whatever. Really cool. Now, one thing I did notice, now everything else is the same in the software as far as rapid trigger. Again, you can adjust all your settings here. Click save for that. Um, your lighting with all your effects. Again, it's the same as the Pro model. The one thing I couldn't figure out over here is polling rate, which it says it goes up to 8,000. I updated the software and everything and all that. But when I come over here to performance and polling rate, I can only go to a thousand. So I'm not sure how I activate 8,000. And one of the other coolest things about this board, as you've heard me saying the coolest thing about this board many times in this video, which maybe that's why you guys think it's paid. I, I don't know, but there's so many cool things about it. And right here, as you see, you can customize and start building your own board right here. But other than that, we're focusing on the one we have here, the $180 one, right? The, the core 
MMK3. So you got this board, later on down the road, you wanna come down here at accessories, GMK3 accessories, and you can start adding on to this board as you go. So you don't have to get the $500 one like everyone's thinking is. You can start with that base one. And say you wanna upgrade to different switches or different dampening for your gasket mount. You can do that. A different bottom case or top case, right? You wanna go metal or plastic where you can go clear, which looks so stinking cool. I don't know where it is right here, but you can also go metal and get different colors and again you got your prices are very 90 bucks for the case or you can go plastic which is going to be 30 but going even further into customization your badge your plate your knob we can load more we have 42 different ones you got keycaps you can choose from right which yeah you can get keycaps anywhere but you got all these that'll fit any standard keycaps will fit you got all of your switches you can choose from it goes on and on of the customization that you can do to this board. And it's simple and accessible. That's what really makes it shine in my eyes. Not being a keyboard snob or elitist. This is simple to do. You unscrew it, you do what you want, you get the pieces you want right there, it slaps on there, and you're good to go. It's accessible for everybody. And you can pick these boards up and some of these accessories at Best Buy as well. Where else can you do that? You're gonna get a group buy and wait six weeks or months or a year? So after taking a look at the GMMK3 Hall Effect, just the base core 65% one, the cheapest version at 180 bucks, looking at that, I think it really justifies, again, what all it is packing. As far as sound, that's up to you guys. I think they both sound amazing still. And yes, I still stand by everything I said about this board. I think it's the best board I've ever used, owned. I absolutely love it. And no, it's not 500 bucks. It's 180 bucks where it starts and then it can go up, talking Hall Effect. If you don't want Hall Effect, it goes even cheaper. If you want Bare Bones, it goes even cheaper. Starts at 80 bucks and it can go up to however much you want to customize. But what I wanted to show you was the core Hall Effect because that's what everyone's comparing to. Drunk Deer, Arbiter, uh, Wooting and stuff. But seriously, I really honestly think the GMK3 is packing more than any of those. Like, do any of those have dual hot swap? or the ability to customize and just get this board to how you want? No, I don't think so. I still love the GMMK3. I will keep my pro version on my desk, swap out my switches probably, and maybe customize it as I go. I think this keyboard is such a great buy and a great option in the space. As a core consumer, this is what we need more of.